Hi everybody and welcome to EV Unite where we discuss the latest news and tech related to electric vehicles and charging. In this episode we will be talking about a clever way to use a garden hose, tape measure, and sharpie to confidently determine the best charging cable length for your electric vehicle home charger and figure out the best location to mount it so you can easily reach your car in different spots. In this demonstration our setup includes a garage with two car bays and a driveway that fits two cars side by side. You might have a different parking situation, but this example will apply to any home. Our electrical panel is located in the basement and has 200 amp service running from the street into the house. Luckily, the electrical panel is mounted directly on the other side of the wall to the garage, so the run of wires from the panel will be relatively short. Although many EV chargers are outdoor rated, it is better to mount the charger in a covered location if possible. Two common locations to mount an EV charger are on either side of the garage, or if you have a multi-bay garage, you can mount it in between the bays. It is recommended to mount your EV charger approximately 48 inches off the ground because this is an ideal height for your arm to reach the charging handle. Most EV chargers are either 18, 23, or 25 feet long, Although depending on the charger you buy, you might have a slightly shorter or longer cable. Luckily, if you have a garden hose, tape measure, and sharpie lying around your house, then you are in good shape. A garden hose has a similar enough diameter and flexibility as a charging cable, so it is a great way to figure things out before pulling the trigger and buying or mounting a charger. The first step is to unravel your garden hose. Next, take a tape measure and measure from the hose handle out to 18 feet. It is best to make sure that the hose is nice and straight for this step. Using a Sharpie marker, label the hose at 18 feet and then proceed to do the same thing for 23 and 25 feet or whatever length you are interested in. Next, take the marked length of hose and hold it in the location you are thinking of mounting the charger at around 48 inches high. In this case, we are mounting a Tesla wall mount charger with an 18-foot cable. You can avoid having to hold up the hose if you have something to wrap it around or clamp it to. And now, you can simply walk around with the hose handle and try out different locations to see how the cable reaches. To better visualize everything, I created some diagrams to summarize the two different options being considered with an 18-foot cable. The top section represents the garage, and the bottom section the driveway. The lightning bolt represents the home charger and the green dots represent the location of the charging port on the vehicle. In option one, the charger is mounted on the side wall of the garage and you can reach cars in either garage bay. You can also reach a car in the driveway if the car is backed in. The second driveway location is too far to reach the car. In option two, the charger is mounted in the strip between the garage bays and you can reach a car in any of the four possible parking spots, although once again, the cars in the driveway will need to be backed in. The perfect location to mount your charger will depend on your home setup and many different variables, but hopefully this quick and easy check will help you confidently make a decision on what cable length and what location will work best for you. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you found any value in this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would love to get your feedback so we can make sure to provide the best content to you as possible. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon.